Hi everyone! So, it's beginning of day 17. Now, after a good night's sleep, a bit short in a tent, I arrived at 11 p.m., went to sleep half past eight, uh, half past midnight, I mean. Well, I'm now at La Bastide Rueru, and I'm starting the second day of a two days run. Now, I'm starting with a little 600 meters climb back from the valley where I descended, so it's only fair. And uh, this day is a short 40 kilometers now. I was lucky enough to have a double breakfast, uh, one which was uh, given by a nice couple in the camping where I woke up and they gave me some coffee, biscuits, so I got to eat that and then I got to a small supermarket in the city bought some yogurts, some applesauce, uh, some raisins, some banana, a tomato which made for a good meal. Now, uh, my muscles are bearing the weight. Today I have a little lighter pack. Yesterday was really, really a hard day. I suffered a lot. I was really slow. I took my time in order not to, you know, hurt anything. So I still, I can still feel all of these muscles uh, suffering. I really still have to go slow, pay real careful attention. I can't go too fast on, on going down because I apparently pulled some muscles, so I can't risk them. But I'm still able to run, and this is what really matters. Now, I love these two days runs, because I, it takes way less time, especially in the evening. The mornings are still a two hours, two hours and a half shift, but the evenings are shorter. Uh, now, yesterday was quite some day. Now, I, got, I started late, so I arrived, uh, I had planned the run to end up in La Bastide Rue at the camping, but uh, I was arriving at the, in the city too late and I had forgotten my meals for the evening and the morning. So that was quite a problem. Now the way I figured this out is there was a small town about 80 kilometers before La Bastide Rue and I pinpointed a restaurant that was open there. Now, I, I arrived there in time before half past nine when it was supposed to close and sadly I discovered that the prices were just beyond my reach and I decided as a protest not to eat but 